juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold flow. I'm getting cash overseas by the boat load. You want to ride my wave? That's a no-go. Senioritas going loco. Hello brothers and sisters and welcome to another episode of Pastorate Teaches Rust. Today I have an updated version of the famous 2x1 starter and how to bunker it now that the roof bunker isn't an option anymore. This base is valid for a solo or even a duo and takes a minimum of 23 rockets from any direction to get into the bunker. Small and compact little bugger for those of you who fell in love with the starter base. I also have a part 2 of this base, which is the real chunker, peak down so that he sees the whole 9 yards. But I wanted to keep this as simple as possible for any new players, so it will be its own video. Hope this helps you to get into the Rust school and an amazing world a little bit easier. With this, we're gonna start with the legendary 2x1 starter blueprint. Then just slam down your walls and doors and keep those goddamn goofballs out of your base. Before you go full ham with the interior, I would recommend adding a shelf for your TC room. To do so, you put down a triangle foundation like this and make a half wall floor piece combo like this. When you stand on it like this and you see the blue marks, it means you're good to go. You can leave this foundation and remove everything else. Then you can put down your necessities, like a tool cupboard and some boxes. Your starter could, for example, look something like this. Phase 1 works perfectly for the early hours of the wipe, but don't let that fool you. Soon enough, someone will come and try to take your loot. Best we can do is to make it as expensive as possible, because let's be honest, how often do you get online? We will do that by making our base a beast of a bunker, with honeycombs and a pancake layer. We ain't gonna choke around. And as this is a beginner's guide, I will also explain why we are doing all these seemingly expensive and weird things. Yeah, trust me, there's a point for all this. But let's build it first. To do so, we're gonna start by creating the bunker entrance. Add two triangle foundations like this, and then two lifted ones right here. And as so, it should look like this. And add some walls and a roof, as well as create the bunker by adding this half wall like this. Close it in with a couple of walls and a door. Remember to always make sure your walls are rotated correctly, meaning that the soft side is facing inside your base. You can tell them off pretty easily. This is super important as the soft side can be destroyed relatively easily. Well, how does this fancy bunker work then? Let me explain. As you are looking out after a long and loothful day of grubbing around, you step outside your bunker and build a stick half wall right here. That will let you build a floor piece here and as so close up the bunker. Then when you look back in, hopefully to an unrated base, you kill yourself and spawn in your inside back. Pick up a weapon, any weapon, and whack this half wall a couple of times. Ta-da! Your bunker is open again. Okay, now we know how, but why? By closing the path to your core with the doors, it will cost minimum of 1575 sulfur with a sheet metal door and maximum of plus 6000 with an armored one. When you replace one of these doorways with a bunker, your minimum being a stone bunker would cost 4.4 thousand sulfur the raid, and the best option being the armored bunker, it would cost plus 17,000 to go through that. We are talking about 8 rocket difference. That is nothing to shy upon. Okay, back to base. Continue by adding a jump up in front of your base, which will also be the foundation of your future hallway. Next up is honeycomb and a pancake layer. Idea behind a honeycomb is that you create an extra layer that raiders have to go through before they reach your actual base walls, just like in honeycomb. Pancake layer is exactly the same but for your roof, made with half walls. You will have to turn this half wall around. To do so, in any situation, all you need is to upgrade the piece and the game will allow you to rotate it once more for a while. Adding these half walls inside the pancake layer might be expensive, but it also makes it impossible to splash damage the whole roof with rockets. When you build these, you have to upgrade them to desired level right away as you can't reach them later on. 
and then we just finish up the honeycomb. Leaving honeycomb and pancake layer to stone can sometimes be a good way to hide your true world, as armor and metal walls pique people's interest more often. I still recommend going for armor wall metal honeycomb combo when you can. It's always a gamble in Rust. Don't forget to add these little triangles, <coughs> like I might have. Then it's time to finish up the entrance, so we can match the cost of raiding through doors to walls. Add double door frames on these spots and then triangle foundation here. Door frames to create an airlock and window so you can see door campers easily. Shelf above door for fast loot depot boxes and surprise for any unwanted visitors. Finish with metal sub front for the same door camper reason. As so, your base should look like this. Simple, but efficient. I can personally promise that this base will always do just what it promises. Only thing left now is to upgrade your bunker to armored and honeycomb slash pancake to metal as soon as you're able. As so, without further addition to build, it would cost accordingly to get to the first room. And then plus three rockets per garage door to next one. This is simple but efficient base and perfect for you to store your loot while you explore the vast lands of rust. Go do a quest, make a friend, murder someone, raid if you get there. Most importantly, remember to have fun. This is it for this time. I hope this helped anyone look into some guidance. Use it, modify it, you do you. That's the beauty of rust. Also, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave either a comment below or come ask me live in twitch.tv slash pastorihelman. Surprise, surprise, I stream Rust. I will bless all of your journeys. May the Rust Gods be more kind to some of you than it has been to others. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Pastori out. Yeah, I got the juice like a snow cone. Ice in my veins and a cold flow. I'm getting cash overseas by the boatload. Yeah. You wanna ride my wave? That's a no go. Shake it, shake it. Senoritas going loco. Shake it, shake it. Make it bounce like a pogo. All my haters see rojo. Yeah. They big mad cause they coming up short like Frodo. Hey.